In this tutorial, we'll be going over how to upload images through the web uploader. To get started, go to your events tab, click the event list page like I already have, and from here you'll see the list of your events. On the right hand side, you'll see an area that says photo options. Go ahead and click that for the event you're going to add photos to. On this page, you'll see the drag and drop images here area. We can drag and drop your photos, or you can click select images to go and manually choose the ones you want. I'm going to go ahead and click select images. And from here, I'll just select the first three photos. Click open. Make sure I have my correct pricing selected. From the category menu, you can choose some categories you've created before, any default categories that you have. Or you can click create new category. And click submit to create a brand new category for just these photos. On the right hand side, you'll see an area that says optional preferences. Under here, you can attempt to auto rotate the images based on their digital image metadata information. Skip the files with existing file names. This is if you're uploading duplicates, but you don't actually want to have duplicate images in the event. This overwrite files that have matching file names option can be used to replace untouched images with touched up versions, or if you have a subscription and you need to replace the low res files with high res ones, then you can use this overwrite setting to be able to do that. I don't need to use any of these right now, so I'm just going to click upload images and let the upload run. Once the upload is done, you'll see a note that says upload complete, and you can upload more images through that uploader, or you can click view uploaded images to see the images that you've added in. I'm going to go ahead and click view uploaded images, and from here I can see the new category that I created, so I'm going to click manage, and here I can see that two of my images are done. One of them is still processing, and what that means is when images are uploaded, they're added to a processing queue, and they're processed in as they are received. So go ahead and refresh the page to see if it's done. And I can now see that they're finished. I'll click my view event link to see this on the storefront. Enter my password. And here I can see the new category that I created and the three images. If you have any questions about uploading images through the web uploader, you can email us at support at instaproofs.com.